Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial of uh, inversions of double slider crank chain. So how to model uh, three different inversions of double slider crank chain in Adam software that we will study uh, in this particular tutorial. So let's see the first inversion. So in the first inversion we can see, uh, so this is the link 1 is fixed, the link 4 which is the slider and this is the link 2 which is also slider. So this link 4 and 2 are connected by means of link 3. So there is a turning pair between the link 2 and 3 and link 3 and 4. Whereas there is a sliding joint between link 2 and 1 and link 4 and 1. So here when the link 1 is fixed then you will get this particular equation which is the equation of ellipse when the point C is on the link AB except at center point. So if you extend this link AB, if you get this point C, then you can obtain this equation that is x square upon bc square plus y square upon ac square is equal to 1 by simple uh, geometric uh, relations. So this is the equation for ellipse and you will find this point C will trace an ellipse when we give the angular uh, rotation to this link number 3. The, when the point C, if you move this point C towards this side or when the point C is a midpoint of A and B, then in that case AC will be equal to BC. So this equation will get reduced to the this equation which is equation of circle. Means the point C, if it is a this is a point C is a midpoint of link AB, then this point C will trace a exactly a circle. Now how to model this in Adam software that we will see. So this is the Adam software where already uh, the double slider crank chain uh, has been modeled. Uh, how to model the double slider crank chain in Adam software if you want to see the video tutorial on this then please refer the link given in the descriptions or click this i button to uh, see this video. So I will recommend you to see this video first uh, how to model the double slider crank chain in Adam software and in this video we will see now the its inversions. So this is the link number 2 that is slider 2 and this is the link number 4 that is slider 4 and this is the link number 3. So this is as per the schematic slider 2, slider 4 and this is link number 3 and these are the link 1. Now here none of the link is fixed so we will fix the link number 1 for that purpose go to the connector select this create a fixed join so we will select the link 1 then ground and this marker so this will create the fixed joint here so link 1 is fixed. Repeat this to fix the this vertical link also which is link 1 so link 1 ground marker so this will fix so in this way we have fixed the link number one and so this one link now already rotation is given to this link number three so we will simulate this so here motion angular velocity is already given 10 radian per second then we'll go to the simulation run the simulation so in this and just run the simulation so you got the this first inversion now uh, we we'll close this Hmm, already this first inversion we have seen in the earlier videos also. We will fix the. Now if we fix this link number 4 that is slider 4 then we will get the second inversion. So that you can see here the slider 4 this link number 4 is fixed. And this link 1 is made as a one part only. So this application you can see in the scotch yoke mechanism where this link number 3 is rotating and this rotary motion is converted into the sliding motion for this link number 1. 
we'll see this in Adam's software now. So here first we'll remove this fixed joint. So this fixed joint will delete another this fixed joint will delete. Okay, now we have to fix the uh, slider link number four that is this slider we, we need to fix. So we'll again go to the connectors, select this fixed joint, then select slider or link number four, then ground and this marker. So link number four is fixed. So motion is already given, then we'll directly simulate this. So this will keep as it is. So here, now we can see there is some error and why this is error? Because I forgot this to make this link, this horizontal and vertical link as a one part. So we will make that. So go to the bodies and here you can see the unite two solids. So I will select this option, select the link, this link and select this link so this will form one one part now definitely we can simulate and now we will get the second inversion so this is the second inversion so here this crank link number 3 is rotating whereas link number 1 is sliding okay so this is the second inversion now we'll see the uh, third inversion so in the third inversion we'll fix the link number 3 here and we'll keep free link number 4 2 and 1 so this application we can find in a old hams coupling old hams couplings uh, which is uh, used to connect two parallel shafts when distance between their axis is small so two shafts here you can see it has uh, two flanges at the ends and are supported in the fixed bearings representing the link 3 so in the flange 2 a slot is cut in which a tongue x of the link 1 okay this tongue is fitted and has a sliding motion so it will have a slight sliding motion link one is made circular and has another term y so this one at right angles to the first and which is fits in the recess of the flange of shaft four thus intermediate link one slides so this link one slides in the two slots in the two flanges while having the rotary motion so this will model in Adam's software so now we'll uh, delete this joint and we'll fix link number 3 so this link number 3 and ground center mark so link number 3 is fixed now we'll simulate this all settings will keep same you can see now here so if the rotating links 2 and 4 of the mechanism are replaced by two shafts one can act as the driver and other as a driven shaft with their axes at the pivots of link 2 and 4 so this is these are the three inversions uh, of the uh, double slider crank chain thank you